Okay, now we get to our other top story tonight. A 16 year old becomes one of the latest victims of the gun violence plaguing our city. Devontae Johnson was shot and killed right outside of Glenville High School yesterday afternoon. And right now, a vigil is being held for him. His mother is expected to speak, calling on the community to help find her son's killer. News 5's Clay Lepard spoke with Devontae's coach, who says it's also up to every one of us to keep kids safe. Somebody just got shot on our streets. A dozen 911 calls. It was just a really bad shooting over here. Describe the moments immediately after shots echoed throughout this neighborhood just outside Glenville High School Wednesday afternoon. We try to catch these people. Thank you. How many shots did you hear? About 12. Investigators identified 16-year-old Devontae Johnson as the teen who died. I just talked to him last week. Glenville High School football coach and Ginn Academy director Ted Ginn Sr. says Johnson played sporadically on the football team last season, and Ginn was trying to bring him back this year. We, everybody in the neighborhood was talking to him, trying to love him, but he just, I'm good, you know what I'm saying? So, but we was fighting to get him on the team, so eventually we probably would have got him just no time ran out. A push to bring this teen back on the team, not just for his talents, but Ginn says to give Johnson direction and support. We have to do a better job of hugging and corralling our children and giving them what they need to survive. You know, parents shouldn't be burying children. Cleveland Ward 9 Councilman Kevin Conwell says he plans to knock on doors in hopes the right tip in this case could lead to an arrest. If we had community policing in the neighborhood, the police officers sometimes they could hear things before it happened. Uh, we're making progress. The shooting comes just one day after Mayor Justin Bibb announced the number of murders in Cleveland are down, a modest 7% compared to the same time last year, with an increased focus on certain hot spots and crime involving young men. 90%, 90% of all gun related homicides in the city of Cleveland are young men of color age 18 to 29. So we know what the problem is and we as a city must continue to focus our resources and investments on addressing that structural issue. We need to all come together and embrace our community and that's everybody's job. Police have not said what led up to the shooting or provided any description of those responsible seen fleeing the area in a car. If you have any information, you're asked to call Crime Stoppers. That number is 216-25-CRIME. In Cleveland, Clay Lepard, News 5.